right folks the first thing you want to do is find the items you want to dehydrate today we're going to do three low-fat cottage cheese one tub of sour cream and we're over here looking at the eggs and yes the prices are going up 276 for two for 36 eggs the other day that was 248 so I think we better get them before the price goes up anymore so we're gonna buy two two packs of the 18 count eggs good morning folks animal preparedness here today we're going to show you a step-by-step -step instructions on how to dehydrate cottage cheese and that's low fat or fat free I mean fat free folks total fat free and we got these from our local grocer and we have these dehydration with the jerky pads they're not permeable so the items will stay in it and we have three pint three containers one pound eight ounce containers first thing i want to do i'm not even going to stir these because the way is pretty concentrated. You'll notice it comes right out of the container. There'll be a little excess, but you can get that out later. You want to make it as spread out as possible. Because it will shrink and almost form a brittle like pattern after it's been spread thinly the thinner the better of course I'm not going to mess up the curds because that's you don't want to have powder you want to have curds so you want to spread it out evenly on the sheet as possible without overlapping or anything coming off the edges if you notice there's not a liquid at all this is what i like about this brand it doesn't have a lot of whey so the weight is the actual cottage cheese itself nice and spread out folks spread it out just press down, you don't have to, don't press down really hard, just enough to where it moves. And you can see the high points. Back here is the high points. Just bring it to the, and get any places like that, just fill those in. And that's one. Take your next tub and just repeat. Always clean your hands, sanitize, sanitize, sanitize. See how easy it just pours right out. There'll be some left over, like I said before. You're just going to go ahead and spread it out. Not a lot of weigh in this, like I said before. It's evenly spread on the tray. Get it out there. Just don't press hard. You don't want to break up the curds. You want those to stay intact so when it does dehydrate, when it rehydrates, you've got curds, not a bush. I'm not going to bother putting, I will put the directions in the description, so if you want to copy it and paste it onto your notepads for your recipes, that's what I want to do it for. It's easy to do. Of course, you will need these sheets so the liquid doesn't go through and make a big old mess. 
and your remaining sheet. So you're getting three pounds, 24 ounces. I do this one handed, of course, because I'm cold on the phone. I don't have this fancy tripod stuff and these fancy cameras that all these YouTubers got. Someday I will, but as of a day, just have to do with what you got. I'll scrape out the interiors off camera to get every morsel, but for now, we're just going to spread this out. And this will take about eight hours. I thought it would take longer, but it'll it'll curl up on the edges and come unstuck from the tr the material when it's done. That's one thing I'll show you in the I have some previous videos, but I wanted to get this down to a um, almost an art before I was to show a step by step because I want to know what I'm doing before I show you so that way you don't have the, any problems doing this. It's pretty simple to do. It just takes a just takes the time. Don't be in any hurry. There's no rush to do this. Since it's going to be dehydrated anyway, it's going to come to temperature. You will have an cottage cheese fragrance in the area where you're dehydrating. I use that as a benchmark for the time that it takes to dehydrate because as long as you can smell it, it's still in the process of dehydration. Once this stuffs the odor, not really an odor, it's just a fragrance. You'll know that it's done by look by taste and by touch, you'll know that it's done. Now I'm gonna pause for now and put the remaining contents of the containers in each. We'll come back, okay? Just a few moments. All right, that was fast at the speed of a push button on a camera. Now we have the whey and the remaining partial pieces of the curds on our trays. We're gonna take them to the machine. I've already set it up where it can be evenly spaced and we'll show you that in just a second okay remember to bring down the high pots high spots when you do your redistribution evenly space them and feel free to lick the spoon Cover it. I've already preset the temperature. The 115 mark. And turn it on. And you should be all set. <clears throat> Come back in a few hours and I'll show you what else, okay? We'll be back when it's ready. Right, folks it's time to do a step-by-step -step on how I make my ghee we have our four stick butter we have our pain and our spatula and we have our cheesecloth so let's get started first thing you want to do is take all of the sticks out of the container and put it into the clean pot being one-handed I'm not gonna do that I'll have to show you that that's something you could do on your own you don't need instructions on how to do that pretty much a no-brainer so stand by and there you go into the container now you want to turn on your stove to medium to medium low this is not a race you're just trying to melt that butter without burning it so set your temperature to medium low and in the meantime you could be turning it around you don't want it to boil 
the lamp on. Just keep moving it around. Just like that. And as you can see, it's melting down very nicely. Just keep stirring it. Be patient. Stir. It'll eventually completely melt down. What you're trying to do is all this up here is fat. Some will coagulate to the bottom, some will stay on top. We're clarifying this butter. We're trying to get all the fat away so we can store it without refrigeration. With that fat in there, that's not going to happen. It'll spoil. So we're removing that fat and also in the process clarifying the butter. <clears throat> Takes a few minutes. Don't be in any hurry. You see that it's starting to boil. Just a, you don't want it just to come to a boil. But you don't want to burn it. Now, once you start the boiling process, you do not want to scrape the bottom of the pan because you're trying to get that. When our heat is too high, so we're going to lower. What you're looking for is that right there. What you're looking for. Set your timer for eight minutes. to happen is the separation process. This is not a very fatty butter, so this shouldn't take very long. Thank <laughs> you. 